What's up guys, welcome back to HMHT, my name is Ben, your host here at Halfman Half Tech. So today, as you can see, when it comes to iOS 14, we now have the next point update, which is iOS 14.8. And in this video, I'm going to be covering it without wasting a lot of time. So there's two questions that I want to answer in this video. And the first one is, what do I do if I'm not seeing the update? So if you go to general and then you go to software update, and and you don't see this iOS 14.8, I've already updated to it, but I did run into the same issue. The first thing that you wanna do on your device is go and remove the profile that you have. So if you have an iOS 14 profile, then first of all, remove the profile and then restart your device. And once you do that, you can always go to software update and you'll be able to see iOS 14.8. The second questions that I've been asked that I would like to answer is, can I get iOS 15 if I update to iOS 14.8? And the answer is you can get iOS 15 when it comes out if you do have a supported device, whether you update to iOS 14.8 or not, since the supported devices are basically the same. So for iOS 14 and 15, you need an iPhone 6S. So this is the minimum supported device, an iPhone 6S or newer and you'll be able to basically update to iOS 15 when it comes out, irregardless of you having to update to iOS 14.8 in this moment. So it's very simple and just because you update now won't hinder you to update when iOS 15 comes out very soon. I'm go also going to be covering when iOS 15 is expected. So for me on my device, iOS 14.8 came in at exactly 293.2 megabytes and I was updating from iOS 14.7.1. So this is not all that Apple released today. They did release some other updates. You can see that we have macOS Pixel 11.6. We also have iOS 14.8, iPadOS 14.8, and watchOS 7.6.2. I'm going to be covering some of these updates. So if you haven't subscribed on the channel, then definitely do subscribe and stay up to date with all these updates. Now, let's go into settings and see the software changes that came with this update. So if we go to uh, the about, you can see the software version that we have. It's 18H17 and that has been updated from the previous one that we had. And the modern firmware version that we have is 8.8. 80.01. Now let's talk about the new features and new changes when it comes to iOS 14.8. Now there is a very serious issue or bug that has been found and if we go to see the Apple security updates, you can see that we actually have iOS 14.8 and iPadOS 14.8. We do have security updates. And if we click on those, you will see that we have about two that are mentioned. And you can see that the first one has to do with core graphics. And you can see that the impact says processing a malicious crafted PDF may lead to arbitrary code execution. Apple is aware of a report that this issue may have been actively exploited. And this is how it's addressed by Apple as CVE 2021-30860 internally. But if this sounds like Greek and you don't understand what this means, let me take you over to my Twitter handle as I sort of tried to explain this. So if you visit my Twitter, you will see that I posted these iOS 14.8 links and you will notice that this bug has to do with uh, some activists in Berlin that have been or whose iPhones were successfully hacked with NSO group Pegasus spyware. So it's a zero click iMessage bug that is targeting Apple's image rendering. And although there have been nine activists in Bahrain that were affected, you can see that they moved all over to Lulu, they moved to Wada, and then also London, as you can see, is mentioned by this article. So it's not just central to one uh, like geographical destination. A lot of people are affected and nine Mac rumors actually posted an article about this and you can see that they mentioned that this spyware can do everything an iPhone user can do on their device and more 
so you can see that it's a very major compromise when it comes to the iphone so it's very important that you update to ios 14.8 if your device is supported i know ios 15 is just around the corner but if you update to ios 14.8 that won't stop you from getting ios 15 when it comes out like i mentioned so that is the first bug or security fix that came with this update it has to do with core graphics and the second one has to do with webkit and it says processing malicious crafted web content may lead to arbitrary code execution apple is aware that this may have been actively exploited and this is the cve that identifies this but the main one is this one that has to do with core graphics where you might get an iMessage bug or a compromise through the messages so that is a reason why you should update to ios 14.8 and i believe it's why apple decided to push this update just before the event and also i do advise that if you do receive some links from people that you do not know or you see a tweet or even if it's an i message from someone or that is trying to take you to a site that you don't recognize then don't click on those links it will save you a lot of headaches with this update and on your iphone so that is the uh, reason why apple decided to release this update and i would like to bring your attention to a few bugs that are still here with this update so the first one has to do with airplay and also a handoff to the home port there have been a number of reports from people that are having issues when it comes to screen mirroring airplay as well as handing off uh, like to a home port device so those are some of the known issues so you can see that although there are some issues this is not yet perfect but you know it's a security update and since ios 15 is just around the corner it won't bring about a number or major new features and changes if we were to put it that way now let's talk about ios 15 the event the apple event for the iphone 13 the apple watch series 7 and so on is scheduled for tomorrow on september the 14th so tomorrow when it comes to ios 15 we do expect ios 15 release candidate or the gm to be released sometime after the event around 1 p.m pacific time so that's when we expect ios 15 the final beta or the the final beta or the release candidate version also termed as the golden master and then next week on the 21st that's when we expect ios 15 to be released to the public officially so that's my expectation and that's how this has been for me as um, ios 14.8 it's true that you know if you do go to the release note you see that apple didn't mention much they just said this update provides important security updates and is recommended for all users so i also do recommend this update for its security protection and benefits that it brings other than that that's about it for me stay tuned and uh, i would like to let you know that i do cover ios 15 and i will be covering it as it transpires and also through the event and whatever comes after the apple iphone 13 event so if you haven't subscribed a sub to the channel would be great stay safe and i'll see you in the next video peace